welcome back to our winter wheat trials. First of all, a big thank you to the Grimsdales at Mount Fair Farm for all their help with making the trial a success. Similar to last year, um, we have drilled earlier and later drilled plots. Behind me is our, our earlier drilled ones. Um, these have just emerged and our later drilled ones uh, haven't yet, but hopefully will be soon. The trial was drilled with a three meter combination drill. They've been rolled and a pre-emergence herbicide been applied. The seed bed was in really good condition when we put them in. We are monitoring for slugs just because, especially when we put in our earlier plots, the high slug pressure, we had quite a lot of rain um, during mid-September. Um, so we are just keeping an eye as we have seen um, a little bit of damage from slugs. Last year we drilled both the early and later plots at the same seed rate and a lot of the varieties in the earlier drill plots were susceptible to lodging. We did have a large amount of rainfall uh, during the growing season, especially towards the end of it, um, and this could have contributed to the lodging. Uh, so this year we've obviously taken into account timings and due to last year's season we have adjusted the seed rates to 150 kilograms per hectare for the early plots and 200 kilograms per hectare for the later plots and obviously we won't be able to change the weather but this means that plant populations will be less than last year and we won't see as much lodging in the trials as well. We'll be monitoring establishment and vigour of all the varieties and I'll be especially taking a closer look at a couple of seed treatments um, that we have in the trial. We have our SPD Berry Gold, we've also got Vibrance Duo and we have got Latitude as well. So we'll be taking a closer look at those throughout the season, um, especially in terms of rooting. The purpose of the seed treatments is to protect the seed from soil and seedborne diseases and hopefully, especially with the Vibrance Duo, uh, increase rooting, allowing optimal nutrient uptake. Then following on into the spring, we'll be looking at disease monitoring for mainly septoria and yellow rust and we'll be looking at the amount of disease on the leaf, um, which leaf it's on and how, and how quickly it's spreading up the plant. I'll also be taking some plant counts from the different varieties and monitoring their growth habits as well and see if there's any correlation between the growth habits and amounts of disease um, that we're seeing in the spring. Because one of the theories from this year was that the more in the earlies, the more vigorous varieties like the Ixtase and the Illuminates were growing up taking the disease, whereas the slower ones, the disease was staying at the bottom because they're, they were kind of like, especially like barrels, oh no, we don't have it in the trial, but because it it's more grows kind of out the way instead of up the way, the disease doesn't spread up the plant and obviously the most important leaves are at the top of the plant. This year in the trial um, we've got a, a few favourites, Xtase, Illuminate, um, Champion, Dorsum and Stokes um, and then we've also got three new varieties that we'll be taking a close look at, RAGT, Wilkinson, Blackstone from Elsims and uh, also Bamford as well which were especially um, keen to have a look at. It looks like a promising variety with a 7 scoring for Septoria um, and also good disease resistance for mildew and yellow rust and good yields as well that, uh, that we've seen in the recommend li recommended list trials. So we're really looking forward to seeing how all our new varieties perform. So we'll be back here in about a month or so to have a look at how all the varieties have emerged um, and any differences in growth habits um, before they settle down for the winter.